Hello everyone, welcome back to Celeste Strawberry Jam. I thought that today, to start out, we would explore this lobby a little bit. Hey look, a strawberry. I feel like we missed that one in the previous lobby, at least I don't think I recorded much of exploring around. So let's check out what we have of the map so far. It's a tiny little area. Okay, it doesn't look like it's gonna be too big. Maybe the map will expand. But it does. There are a lot of levels here, so they must be either pretty back packed together. Here's one right here, it looks like. Or they, uh, the map, map must expand. Okay, we got a bunch of levels right here in the clouds. This is pretty cool. I also got to look for a... Hmm, this might be a spot for the end screen. Okay, that was long enough. If there are better places, then we will maybe find the... Oh, this is a better place. Okay, well that was that. Now I have a couple of options. Um, you will have known what it was already because you'll have already seen episode one of this area. There's the credits for this zone. And an another bench. His music is very high-pitched. It's like at the, at the top of human register. This isn't desert over here. We got trees. They're thin trees, though. Wind! High wind! And no dash. Okay, that's about as far as I can go. And then it pushes me back. Okay. When I first saw this, I was like, is that a Breath of the Wild Guardian? And then the wind went away and it was like, no. Wee. Let's go up here. Let's climb up and see what... It looks like there's a level over there. That one looks interesting. The music does seem to change depending on where we are. I think the other lobbies did that too. Another level. We're in this sort of like canyon area. It is deserty over here. We're in one of those, oh, there's a name for it. There's a, pl a name for the type of place that is both desert and, oh, will this kill me? I assume it will. But it'll push me down first. Okay. <laughs> a place that's the edge of a desert. A transition biome. Is that what it's called? Where there's plants, but it's also the edge of the desert. This looks interesting. And then another honey level. So many honey levels. That was just a theme that people liked, I guess. Level down here. Deeper, darker caverns. Upward wind. We. What's in here? What's down here? Whoa! I just went really far. Um. Um, I guess it's expanding in size? I don't know, I'm not sure. Alright, let's go to the left and see what that little spot is that we missed. Wait, what is this? Electricity. Can we go here? <laughs> no. Good. Because we would die. Electricity level. Here's the heart side. No, it's not. It's a level. It's a core level. And then we got this ancient temple ruins, looks like. And then another level. This, this world is pretty big. It's bigger than I thought. I don't know why I said it was smaller earlier. More girders with s'more blobs. Let me know if you get that reference, why I call these smorgs. Lavery level. And 
and more electricity level. Electric mining cave, it looks like. And then this sort of like... Pueblo? No, this isn't Pueblo. What is it? Like, I, I'm not sure what this is, what style this is, but it's a distinctive desert home style. Ooh, this level looks colorful and interesting. Alright. Is this a ladder? Can we climb it? <laughs> Do we run out of stamina? No, we don't. Do we run out of stamina, period? Yes, we do, but not while climbing the ladder. Huh. Oh, come on. And back to the gym. We've been to the gym already. And back into here with some more... This isn't a level, is it? No. But we go up to the top. And there's a deserty place. This might be another option for the end screen. Okay, that should be enough. We're getting to the edge of the map soon. Hey, look at the hard side. What is that? Four times six is 24 plus one is 25. As known. And I can't go up. I've done one level so far. I think now it's time to go find some more. There we go. Spooky Blue Cavern. A yellow level Java's Crypt by Tortoise. Oh. It's, it's like JavaScript. Ouch! Well, that was uncalled for. Who are you mad at? What in the wizarding world of unkept catacombs is this place? Java, I know you did this, jerkhead. Is that a reference to another hack? Sorry, Jamaline, but your magical powers, they belong in the hands of a powerful necromancer. Powerful? Cowardful, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Wait a second, what have you done to me? I'm small? Wait, she's small? I was already small enough. Okay, I guess we're small. A potion, eh? Would be a shame if someone were to smash it. Yeah, it spilled on me. I'm big. Oh, that still kills me. Okay. Come on. That's how it's done. Now we're doing- Oh, that's- that key is huge! Are we gonna grow and grow throughout this level? That'd be so cool. I missed, but that's okay. Alright, I cannot collect it. I'm too big. I mean, I'm too small. It's too big. Oh, come on. You make me come all the way back here. You make me come all the way back here? Okay, it's not too bad. This is a really cool concept. I like it already. Alright, I don't seem to be able to go up from here. Ah. It's hard to- I can't see where I'm going. That's what the problem, I think. This first so this is a really cool concept, but this first room is not very intuitive. Just gotta get right in there. Maybe I should be grabbing. Maybe that'll help. Oh, I bet it wants me to super jump here. There we go. I don't even need to high jump there. No, I can't grab that. Ah, oh, come on, the momentum. Made it. Oh, made it. I'm hopping here and back. Do I get another potion here? I guess I'm, I can walk around. Oh, this is so cool. Is there any reason to come over here? Nope. 
<laughs> I'm bigger? What happened? The, the level's different. Okay, the level changed. I think I'm bigger. Ow. I gotta get the berry things. This is hard. No, I missed. Do I need to keep my dash or something? How do I get down there? Okay, this looks like it might be the end then. This is pretty intense music. How am I supposed to get how am I supposed to get that last seed without touching the ground? Maybe if I use my dash. Oh here we go. I should be able to grab that. There we go. That's how it's done. Oh! Look at this. Oh wait, no. No, what happened? Why did it, it? It did something cool. I felt like I just climbed up and was able to get to the other side. Anyway, let's just keep trying this. Yeah, like that. What happened there? Here we go. Yes! Haha! <laughs> gotcha! Now I should be able to get up here. All right, good thing I did that before I did that. Now, can I go to the right? Down? Hmm. Ouch. Oh, I'm too big. Can't get over the right anymore, okay. So I gotta come there from the other side. But what am I doing? There's an easy way to do this. That. I think that's what I gotta do there. Is it just me or does this music sound like Donkey Kong 64 music? Hmm, maybe Hyper Dash is not the way to go there. There we go. Oh, I had another dash. <laughs> There's a crystal, I got another dash. Like that! Yes! Okay. Let's see. There we go. Ball! Oh, ow! <laughs> okay, now that I know how to do it, it's easier. Okay, it's already fallen though. Wait, no. No, it's not. Why is this open? Hmm. What happens if it falls? Why would I want it to fall? Maybe it smashed something and that smash is permanent. Now the question is, is there something up here? No, I don't think so. Guess not. Uh, I need to hit the button again. <laughs> Alright. But I can go over here. Why not go over here to see if there's anything to find here while I'm small? It looks like there's probably not. Okay. There we go. Big! Bigify! This key is going to become small enough to get. <laughs> also, that key over there changed shape. <laughs> this has oh, okay. This has to fall again. So then, then I'll be able to get through here and hit that button. I think. Oh wait, wait. Where do I go? Over here. I'm confused. I'm not stuck. Oh, here we go. I think. Huh? Yeah! Okay, yep, that's how it is. Alright, I see. I can look around. Buttons to open. Nope, wrong way. Thank you for placing me here. 
All right, open those. And also I can go down here. This falls. I did not want that to fall. Okay. Let's go over here first. All right, there's that. What did it open? I need to use this to get back, so I don't want to write it down. Where did it open? Also, I can't go down again. Did it open something here, maybe? I need to open this in order to get that key. Alright, let's do this! Uh, I can stand on top of the button. Cool. Alright. Where can I stand? Right here, exactly. Nowhere else. Okay, what has been opened? Um, can I get the key maybe? Yeah, if I can get over there. Oh, but I need to get over there. Okay. Chava, someone needs to shrink you down and lock you away! This, this lock is very big. Alright, let's see if we can go this way any farther. Get our dash back. That's a one way. Alright, I'm not sure where to go now. And not having this fall wouldn't have helped anything. Wouldn't have done anything. Ouch! Okay, I've still got the key. That platform has not fallen. So what is that opening? Oh, it's, it's opening the, the key. That's right, but I need to find a way down there. I need to... Oh. Mm, can I make this fall at all? Hmm. Well, this is a puzzle level, it looks like. I mean, I can come down here now, but there's no reason to. I need to get over to the other side. Okay, how can I get over to the other side? There are a couple of ways to do that. One, if this could move. In order to get in here, I need this block to move. In order to get this block to move, I need to get that key. In order to get that key, I need to open this. So how does that open? That switch down there? But then we have a circle of switches. That doesn't make any sense. So once we get that key, we can make this fall down. And once this falls down, we can get down and we can get that other key. What am I missing? You won't find me down there, Gemini. So what's the point of having this over here? I don't think I can go under it, can I? All right, I, I'm not figuring it out. I don't know what to do. It looks like there is nothing left to do, so I'm going to look it up. All right, I looked it up, and this is something that I would have never thought of because I had no idea. So the problem is I was hitting this switch first, and what you have to do, I don't know why this works, I guess, it has something to do with the way that switch doors are toggled, but you have to go for that switch first, then this one, it opens that door, and notice how that was the door that the first switch kept opening when I used to hit it. But since that door's already open, now that one opens. I don't know why that's true. I had no idea that would work. I, I, like, I was like, oh, every button is assigned to a single door. It would have never crossed my mind to think that if I pressed them in a different order, different doors would open. I'd be like, well, no, well, I, I, I don't know. I wouldn't have ever thought of that. Well, now that's open. But yeah, that wasn't in the gym. <laughs> uh, don't want to dash through because then I'll hit those spikes. All right, will this still work? Ow! Yes. But now I'm way back. Oh, no, it opened. Okay. 
That almost worked. Okay, what I gotta do is this. Yes. No. No, I need to grab the other side. Okay. Wait, no, I don't even need to grab that at all. <laughs> I just gotta go through. You know, I, I don't feel any shame or anything about looking up the answer to this one. I'm here for the fun, I'm here for the, the action, really. And here we are, we get ourselves a key. Yes! Oh, the meta key! A key inside a key, and I wonder if this big key is gonna become a key. Now I can go over here. Okay, I guess I can go over here now. Strawberry! What does that do? Okay. I guess maybe... Can I do the... No, I don't think so. Uh, that was it. Nope. I should be able to grab that corner if I do this right. Ah. Uh. There we go. All right. Strawberry. Oh, you took me back. Okay. But I want to see what's over here. I definitely can get over there. All right, made it. It's too tall! I don't think I'm supposed to go there yet. I definitely think I can, though. Oh, no, I can't, because I need to use the dash. Alright. That's for later. Now you... Can fall down and break that, and I can get back up again. Now that I have the key, I can go over here. Let this thing fall down and smash something, I guess? Oh, let me get through here. Okay, that's probably for later. Oh, hey, look, a strawberry. Let's get it. Um. Here we go. Open that. Now we fall down through here. Yes. I'm in prison in a deadly crypt and I'm still chasing after strawberries. <laughs> it's the name of the game, Madeline. Strawberries are everywhere. You know, this old saying, if you're a jar, then every problem is a strawberry. Let's look here. Looks like we can't do anything here. Let's big! Let's big! We're big! And now this room is smaller. <laughs> this will kill me if I fall down there. Let's... Oh no. Let's do this. Alright, we got a key. This will fall down one square. It'll do nothing. Maybe we didn't want that. Hmm. Uh, we don't want that to fall down. No. No. Come on. Maybe we don't want this to fall down. Maybe we want to save it for later. Now, this is pixel perfect, though. I need to get down here and also... Now... I need to get down there and also have my dash. Well, we could try have, making the thing fall. Because that looks like it's what it's supposed to do. I was just be, I was just trying to be clever and think ahead and look out for the traps. But let's try this. Oh, 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 so close. Oh, of course. The platform is there, which means we can get past without a dash. There we go. Can we even hit this button? 
No. All right, now we're down here. Ooh, this is kind of scary. Come on, come on. We're getting bigger and bigger and bigger. We're not going to be able to fit through these soon. Yeah, this key is definitely going to become another key. All right. That's all the... Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay, yep. We did not want this to fall. That is correct. Um... Now what do we want to do? Probably this. No, this. Okay, we'll do that. <laughs> now we can make this platform fall. Do we want to? Do we need to? No, we don't. It will kill us. Let's just go this way. A tiny key! Oh, I, do, I have to go through there. I have to dash. Didn't see those spikes down there. There we go. Ah! I think I have to diagonal dash there. Ah. You know, so far, these levels haven't seemed harder than the intermediate to me. They, just, they seem like... I guess maybe it's just the ones I've, I've had. The ones I've found. All right, now we're back here. That's the door that's going to open. Okay, so I need to go up here. We uh, huh. and somehow I got my dash back. And uh, oh, there's a crystal here. Now what do I do? Not that. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that. Oops that these levels have been more gimmicky, I think. There we go. Maybe I need to jump back really fast. It hasn't really been challenge, it's been gimmick. Oh, here's an idea. What if instead of jumping, I dash? Haha, <laughs> that's gotta be how you do it. Be a little higher. Yes, wait. Wait. What? Well, huh? Do I have to do it really fast, though? That's not quite it. Like, do I have to get it back my dash? Because spikes come up here. I think I can land there if I go fast enough. There we go. And there. Ha! Made it! I'm even bigger! How can I be even bigger? There's not even space for me. The world's just getting tiny. <laughs> this is a really cool level. I love this one. So, does this break that? It does. Okay. Well, I definitely need the berry. I actually don't think I wanted to break those. So, I need to get through there somehow. Alright, we're demo-dashing there. Okay, this will break these. But then I get stuck right here. How do I get that? This is confusing. Hmm. Oh! That's how I get it. we go. Knock you down there. I didn't realize it would break the blue. Okay. Okay, now that that is in place, uh, I gotta stop. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay, I can jump. I forgot. Now that that's in place, these should... Oh, I, I can't do that one first. Now that that's in place, I should be able to... Uh, get here. Can't grab it from that side. Grab you down, and it lands there. And now you should all break that one, and I can get down here into the berry. Yay! 
Uh, uh, hello? Okay. <laughs> I had trouble getting out there. Alright, into a bigger area. Nothing up here? These don't break? Cool. What's down- Ow, there's- What it was- What was that? There's a snake! Ah! <laughs> Alright, there's snakes here. Watch out, see their eyes down there? Fire? Okay. Wait, is that somebody up there? Something to examine? You're so close, little buddy. So close to getting the heart. So we can go down here, and through here, and through here, and up there, but also- wait, no, not through there. Let's check out over here. See how far we can go. Can we... get down there? It definitely looks like a place we would be able to get. I'm thinking there might be another berry hidden around here. Wait, I can't go back down? Okay, oh well. If we didn't get it, we didn't get it. That level was so fun! It was so cool! It was a crazy concept. So, I understand how it's built, is that they're all different rooms, and every time you get one of those potions, you're transported to a different room, but it's just the story that you're getting bigger, and you're blasting your way out of this tomb by just getting huge and muscling it. <laughs> 4 out of 5, 107. Yeah, that last one I have a suspicion where it is there at the end. I don't know if we'll... At the beginning, I was like, I'm gonna get all the strawberries. But I don't know. I don't know if I'm... I'll, I'll do all the strawberries in beginner and maybe intermediate, but advanced and beyond, no promises. Um, and by all the strawberries, I don't mean silver or gold. I just mean the regular strawberries. But I will get all of them that I find. Alright, let's find another level. Here's one. Dusk City by Mirio. Didn't we have one by Mirio before? This is red difficulty. It might pose a challenge. The sign says up. Oh, dream blocks! Movable dream blocks! Oh, yes! Oh, this is gonna be so fun. And there's absolutely no way I would ever get the silver berry here. Oh, that's what I gotta do, surely. Something like that, very close. Yes! Yes! Yes, come on! Okay, I do think I have to jump out of there, but I gotta be careful. I said I gotta be careful. There we go. Where am I going? <laughs> this is one where I wish I had a viewfinder. I guess I'm going left and right again. Oh, I'm grabbing on that side, I see. Wait, let's see if I can... No. I think I was doing it right the first time. There we go. That's how it's done. But just gotta be better. No, it's not. I think what I have to do is I have to grab the side and wait for it to come back, and then dash to the left, and then right. Like this. No, not like that. That. Um, no, I have to do it. I have to time it so that I'm coming out right exactly when it's going. Like that! Yes! <laughs> Alright, I got one of these now. We'll use it when we need it. Whoa. That's going down. No, I gotta grab it, I see. Uh, excuse me? Oh, it moves. It turns. Okay. I thought it went straight down. 
I guess diagonal is the right way for that one. Uh, right, don't do that. A diagonal and then straight right. Uh, straight right and... Okay, let's take a look. Diagonal, then straight right and jump. Then straight up, left and up. Dash up again. Go through here, grab it. And then... Whew, this is a long second level. Yep, I think we've gotten to where the game has started to get difficult. There, oh, that was it. I, I almost did it. Whoa, not what I was expecting. There we go. Oh, gotta, gotta have my wits about me. I guess I'm getting smashed there. There we go. Oh, I just need to dash straight upward after that. Or maybe no, I need to. Need to grab. That's conf I think I'm too high. I think that's why it's happening. There we go. Ow! I'm gonna try dashing immediately after leaving. Oh, no, that doesn't get me high enough. Man, I keep being too high and getting pushed by that block. Right, I gotta remember to dash immediately after exiting. There we go! Okay, I need to- I need to grab. And when I grab, I launch myself- I let go and jump off the other side. Yeah! Wait. Okay, I gotta look. I made it really far there. I can do that. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, no, never mind. I was like, did I get there? Did I get a checkpoint? No. Okay, so I gotta grab there, then fall. And that goes down to here. So I fall, probably fast fall, and dash, high jump. And then I have no dash. So I grab this, jump, and then fast fall. Or I have to fall such that I'm here while this thing is passing through. Probably while it's coming back up. I do Here's the difficulty. This is at the end of the level. While I'm planning, I don't know if I have to fast fall here or not. All I know is that I need to be down here when this block is coming back up. That, I feel like, is not great level design. They should prime you with a couple obstacles like this where you can start at the beginning of the level so that you can get a feel for how fast you need to be, and then they can put one like this at the end of a level later. And then, after that, it's the end. And while it's going up, you get that momentum of it going up. I guess I should, I should, instead of saying it's bad level design, I should say here's a, here's a, a piece of criticism for a level improvement. That, that's more positive. Because I do love this level, I love, I've loved almost every level I've played so far. Um, I only say almost because I don't know if I've loved every level, I can't, can't think of all of them. Um, but I've, I've definitely thoroughly enjoyed this and I'm extremely impressed with everyone who put work into it. I'm having trouble grabbing that one. You just gotta do the motion so fast and you have to remember what it is that you're doing. No time to rest. Gotcha! Alright, oh man, I didn't get to test it because I didn't jump to the crystal in time! Oh, I'm so close, I'm right there. This level is going to take a long time, isn't it? Yes! Yes! Just normal falling? Yes! First try! Okay, first try once I got to that obstacle. The rest of the level, a whole bunch of tries. But for that one, it was first try. Okay. I'm going to try first here is this. Okay, I need to just grab it. Okay, I got to look. I grab it, and what? I can't dash through it. I'm confused here. Can I dash down through this dream block when it's over there? Maybe I can. So I dash down, and then I go this way and up through there. Man, the levels are so long! It's not advanced difficulty because it's hard, it's advanced because the levels are so long. <laughs> That's how it's done. Just gotta grab it. Okay, time to check out what I do when I get over there. I grab the side of this, write it down, and then 
left, right really fast. Left, right, and jump, I guess. And then that will give me enough momentum to get over here. Probably dash up and then dash up again. Dash up here, grab this, and then dash through here. Okay. Room is not too bad. Just gotta do a bunch in a row. That's how it's done. Yes! No! <laughs> Adapted on the fly, which made me lose what I was doing. But I just, in the process, I discovered the correct way to do it. No, I need to just go straight and then jump. Alright, let's try that again. I'm jumping too fast. Alright, let's wait here. Now let's go. Back! There we go. There we go! Yes! Next room! Alright. It's showing you how to do that. That's not surprising. Is this gonna say, I'm stuck? Dash into the dream zip mover as it's finishing its movement. It Perform a dream dump to get the largest boost. Is finishing its movement. Okay. So that's showing us up there. Alright, so let's watch Shadow a lot. Shad Shadow Line. <laughs> All right, exactly what I thought. Oops. <laughs> Let's try this. Yes! Oh. Gotta grab. Yes! Al uh, almost. I fell through the lightning. I think I... I don't know if it was because I was beneath the screen while the screen was scrolling, so it hadn't spawned yet, but that was kind of funny. Yes! Oh yeah, that felt good. Man, after those first couple rooms, this level just feels good. There we go. That's how it's done. It's just gotta be better, I guess. There we go. Just had to be better. Oh, maybe I should wave dash off for this second one. Yeah, I need to wave dash off it. Yes! Ha! Oh, that was tough. So I should look at what I need to do on the other side. So I grab this, get it, go through, and then do that trick we learned last room here. And then over here, we dash up into that, jump up. Dash over here, and then fall straight into here. And then land, let it go up, do our double dash, do our, do one dash up and then one dash to the right. This goes over here and we, we jump off of it to get the momentum or no, we get on top of it and we wave dash across. That's what I'm going to try. Haha, <laughs> that feels good to pull off. Ah, made it. Yes! Yes! <laughs> oh, this is gonna carry us right up into those spikes. So, what I have to do is I have to hop on the second one first, then hop back. I think. That's what I'm gonna try. It worked! Oh, I need to go to the right, don't I? And then we got some keys, we do some right-left, left-right. Oh no! Yeah! Ah, oh, yeah! Whoa! Where am I? Ah! Oh, I needed to dash through. And I need to dash through and grab and dash back. Okay. Alright, dash left and grab. Then what's after that? Then I need to grab here and ride it up and dash through at the last possible moment to get that upward momentum. Jump out and ride it down and then dash through, dash through. Okay, I got it. Almost. I didn't go fast enough. Yes. 
Yes. Yes. Yes. <laughs> this level's so fun. So fun. Where does this where does this go? Do I need that? Oh, it stops me, I see. Okay, I see what we gotta do up to there. Are we flashing purple lights beach ready? Alright, so we go through here and then we probably go up, grab, and go this way. Very similar to what we just did. Not too worried about that. Flashing purple sail! And then we repeat it, we do the exact same thing again. And then we do, yep, nothing new in this room. Except this part right here. Just want to dash straight up. And I didn't do it fast enough that time, but I definitely can. Gotta get good. I missed. Practice. <laughs> oh, I gotta grab it. Right. I'm so close to the end. I also gotta keep an eye out for a good one to get the silver berry on for this lobby. I think so far I could probably get good at this level and do it, but I am dying a whole lot. So, probably want to, you know, maybe the level before this is a better candidate. Because the, the level before this was more like a puzzle level. It didn't really have a lot of challenge. Made it! Yes! And the thing is, with, with, um... Wait. There we go. Can I just get through this? Yes. Okay, and then I'm gonna grab the other side. The thing is, with Silverberry candidates, you want to find a short level, and you want to find a level that doesn't have super hard things in it. You know, something that you can get good at. And so, like, the seasides in Vanilla Celeste are some of the easiest to get golden berries in because they're so short. Yes, they're the hardest levels, but they are so short that you can just get good at them and get lucky once. And then you got it. Over here we want to dash through and grab so that we can fall down and then double dash through and then dash, dash, grab. Um, uh, will this be diff- will this- I probably will. Then we grab. Alright, let's- let's go through and figure it out as we need to. You gotta go through this one at a high point. Whoa! Because if you go through it too low, if you start going when you're in the middle, then you'll be too low. Alright, got pretty far that time. The thing about this level is that it's really fun. So that's another thing about Silverberry levels, is that you want them to be fun enough that you can keep playing them for a long amount of time. The amount of time it's necessary to get good at them. Like, my least favorite level to get the Golden Berry on in Vanilla Celeste was Golden Ridge B-Side. Because I hated the wind, and the B-Side of course was the hard version, and it was really long, and just, I had to keep going and going until I got it in this level that I really didn't care for. And I was too low on those blocks. I almost got it, though. Made it! Oh, just had to go past there. Now let's look at the level after that. So once we get here, we want to grab, and then we want to do a dash jump over to here. Oh my goodness, there's some puzzle shenanigans. I don't like this. No, no, no puzzle shenanigans at the end of a giant level that you have to practice a whole lot. Oh, my one consistent criticism, and it is something that that presumably lots of people don't care about because hundreds of people made this together, but my criticism is the single screens are too long. They should divide the screens into shorter segments, like Vanilla Celeste did. The only screen that was anywhere near this long in Vanilla Celeste was the final room of Chapter 9. And that's meant to be this super epic final challenge, like the Mario 
things for the new Mario games. It's like after you have everything else in the game, you do this super epic ultra final challenge that is intentionally unfair, but it's a master challenge for the best possible players. Okay, so what do I gotta do when I'm here? So I'm gonna land somewhere. I have to get both of these to go there. Maybe I dash right left through the top one and then right grab through the bottom one. So then I dash upward through the top one when I get over to here, and then I dash to the right and grab. Okay, because right now I'm not going for a golden berry, but it definitely feels like I'm going for a golden berry. For anyone who says, oh, you're just complaining about the difficulty, it's too hard. It's like, no, I've beat this part over and over again already by now. I've beat this part many times by now. It's not too hard. It's just making me do it again and again and again. All right, my plan just didn't happen. My fingers just didn't do it, and my brain wasn't working. Plan? Almost. I didn't grab, though. Also, I'm not sure if that was right, because that top block was already leaving by the time I got there. Okay, so I think I understand. I'm going to have a dash because I just went through that dream block. So I don't think I need to dash upward. Wait, let's go check it out. Oh, no, I do need to dash upward through it. Oh, uh, what do I do? Like, if I just dash right and then I fall down and dash left, right? Can I even do that? I'm gonna try it. Didn't try it. Okay, no, I think I should still have time to get that top dream block. That was it. That's how you do it. And what's the troll at the end? The troll is I just have to grab the left side, the right side of this. Okay, not that much of a troll. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Yes, no! <laughs> There's one more input. Yes! Yes! <laughs> Made it to the next room. I have no idea how long this world is. I may just be at the beginning. <laughs> we'll see. Oh. What am I doing? Oh, I thought there were spikes on the right side of that one. See the, see the poster? I thought those were short spikes that pop out. What do I do? I think I just go through and fall and then dash upward, and then dash right, and then dash upward again. Yeah, I think there's not a lot of, except here at the very end. Okay, this is not the end. Um, and then there's more. It, there's like, a, there's another whole level after it. Come on, people, put it in separate screens. Come on. Let's get through the first level first. Yeah, I think it's just nothing fancy, just dash a bunch and get it right. I think the momentum of the blocks is is uh, throwing me off a little bit. Ah, I gotta grab. Okay, that's what you do. It's pr This part is pretty easy. Then over here, you gotta grab that side and jump, and then you gotta grab and then dash and jump. And then over here, you dash through the top ones, grab that, write it down, then dash through the bottom, and then dash through here, grab it, go to the top, and then come through again, grab it down, and then dash through and jump. This one we dash and jump, this one we grab and jump, another grab and jump. Okay, so the end is pretty much a free thing, like you get there and cool down and then you win. This level doesn't, like that jump right there, that grab, seems like the hardest part of this whole level. Yeah! I gotta dash again. And maybe that grab. Has anyone played an old Nintendo 64 game called Snowboard Kids? This music reminds me of it. I think it's these arpeggios that are playing right now. All right, farther than we've ever got. Oh. 
Gotta be higher on those ones. Because they will drop you if you're not higher enough. Alright, got here. Yes! 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 Ha! Oh, I saw that. Hey! We got a heart here. What about over there? No? Nothing? <laughs> what about... Up here! No? Alright. We win! Okay. Oh, despite my complaints, that really was a fun level. And also, I would consider it as a good Silverberry candidate. Now, I know I died a whole bunch of times, but the thing about that is that those deaths were because the rooms were so long. So, the deaths don't mean that the level was really hard, they mean that I already got a lot of practice for the Silverberry. So, what I'm doing is I'm looking, I'm looking at all the levels as I play them, and I'm gonna choose one to go for the silver berry in this one, in the next lobby, I forget its name right now, and in Grandmaster. And that sounds crazy. It's like, how could I possibly wanna go for a silver berry in Grandmaster? Well, the thing is, some of these levels are designed to be hard in certain ways that once you know how to do it and once you get a lot of practice at it, they're not actually that hard. Uh, they still count as hard, so they're put in the lobbies, but I'm crossing my fingers and hoping that there's one that is reasonable that I can spend some number of hours on. And, you know, I'd be willing to spend tens of hours getting a single silver berry. I'm not going for all of them by any means, but, like, if it means finishing out something and looking really impressive on YouTube, then I will get a silver berry in Grandmaster. Just one. Anyway, that has been this episode of Celeste Strawberry Jam. Thank you so very much for watching. Let me know what you thought in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Strawberry Jam and other awesome games. I'll see you next time. Bye.